So I jumped on a plane from Knoxville to sunny, or when I landed, not so sunny Florida, and I'm taking you to a world famous restaurant in Ybor City. Today I'm with my sister and family and we're visiting the Columbia restaurant in Ybor City, Florida and the Flamenco Show. Before checking in for our 5.30 reservation, we checked out the gift shop where there is so many beautiful and unique items that you can purchase uh, with the Spanish and Colombia restaurant theming, including their spices and their dressing as well as their um, rice and various different things that you can take home with you. A little bit of the history of the Colombia restaurant, Ybor City, is uh, for Spanish-Cuban immigrant Casimiro Hernandez Sr. arriving in Tampa, Florida with his four young sons meant searching for opportunity and a better life. On December 17, 1903, he helped to open the Columbia Saloon, which became the Columbia Restaurant, in 1905. For over 120 years, the original restaurant has expanded to an entire city block. It is now the largest Spanish restaurant in the world. Casimiro's descendants diligently care for the Columbia Restaurant and help preserve this American dream. As Florida's oldest restaurant, the Columbia has seven locations in Florida and is still owned and operated by the family. Before we get seated, we're going to take a little tour of the many dining rooms of the Columbia Ybor City. The Don Quick Soap Dining Room was Tampa's very first air-conditioned dining room and it was built into the restaurant in 1935. And in the back you can see the windows into the amazing Spanish wine cellar. The staff was kind enough to invite me into the Spanish wine cellar for a look. It is a temperature controlled cedar wine cellar and the Columbia actually has the largest collection of Spanish wines in the world and the wine list is over 240 pages long with 50,000 wines in its inventory. Pretty impressive. This is the El Patio dining room and this is a beautiful open two-story room with mosaic tiles and a gorgeous statue uh, that is called the Orion and the Dolphin. The Columbia restaurant in Ybor City is 52,000 square feet in size and it seats up to 1,700 patrons and it is the largest Spanish restaurant in the world. The dining room where we will be dining and watching the Flamenco show is the El Saboni dining room and that opened on uh, New Year's Eve 1959 and it, it features fountains, sculptures and paintings, tapestries and antiques. It is a very large room and it is beautiful. Dinner at the Columbia of course starts out with freshly baked Cuban bread and delicious fresh butter. Uh, traditionally when dining at a Spanish restaurant you do partake a little bit of the sangria in our table ordered a pitcher of the white sangria and a pitcher of the red and our uh, server Corey actually prepared that table side. I decided to try one of the uh, sopas or soups, the caldo galejo, which is a bean soup with a simmered rich stock, smoked ham, chorizo, sausage, turnip greens, and potatoes. Uh, 
Our group decided to order the table size 1905 salad, which is a amazing salad that they actually make for you table side. And it is a iceberg lettuce with a julienne of ham and Swiss cheese, tomatoes, olives, grated Romano cheese, Worcestershire sauce, and a famous garlic dressing that uh, the Columbia is known for. If you come to the Columbia, you absolutely must have a 1905 salad. It is amazing. I chose to have the cannelloni de langosta, which is tender cannelloni pastas filled with main lobster meat, shrimp, and pan seared scallops uh, with a sauteed shallots blended with lobster sherry cream reduction and smothered with lobster sherry Mornay cheese and pieces of lobster on the top. My niece Julia went with her tried and true favorite, the Pollo Manchego. It's a boneless chicken breast breaded and seasoned with Cuban breadcrumbs and grated Spanish Manchego cheese cooked on a flat top griddle, topped with citrus sauce, sun-dried tomatoes, and fresh basil. It is served with a yellow rice and fresh veggies. The fellas in our group, of course, went with the New York Strip Sirloin, the Bambino, and it is a 14 ounce uh, wet age boneless strip steak, and it's brushed with the original 1905 dressing sauce. Uh, back in the 20s and 30s, the famed Babe Ruth baseball player frequented the Columbia to enjoy this great steak. It is served with stuffed mushrooms and a yellow saffron rice. My sister Kathy had the paella a la Valenciana. It's prepared in a traditional paella pan featuring clams, mussels, shrimp, scallops, calamare, chicken, pork, and it's baked with La Bamba Spanish rice, extra virgin olive oil, green peppers, Spanish onions, ripe tomatoes, garlic, and splashed with white wine. And this is actually put together and prepared at your table as you can see. Once dinner's been served, it's time to sit back, enjoy your dinner, and the amazing flamenco show.
If you're visiting or in the Tampa, Florida area, you simply must come to the Columbia restaurant in Ybor City, Florida, or you can visit one of the other locations. I do highly recommend visiting the Ybor City location. It is incredible, all of the dining rooms and the Spanish decorations and the food. The food was fantastic. You must try that 1905 salad. And everyone was very happy with what we ordered and didn't have a whole lot of leftovers. The flamenco show was absolutely beautiful. We so enjoyed it. And to wrap it up, my little great niece Scarlett is going to show you exactly what she thought of everything. Bye! -bye. <laughs>